Hey, look at these spaghetti models. They should inspire total and absolute confidence in you. Just like a $20 trillion debt inspires total and absolute confidence in people in this economy. You know what I'm saying? Sweet. Everything's weird. Take into account or don't. I'm a little more Viking today because I can feel the winter winds. Well, it's like 88 degrees here. Let's keep an eye on this. Weather is weird, that is perfectly clear. Does it feel like the weather has just been really weird this year? Oh, so you gotta start watching things uh, very carefully. Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Are you cool? Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Thor News presents... Well, here's the good news. How can you just leave me stranded? Alone in a world that's so cold. Happy fall, y'all. Man, I love the fall. It's Viking season. Because I'm super, I'm cool, and I'm awesome, I'm going to keep watching it for you. And I recommend you don't let your guard down. And especially if you are in North Carolina, have a plan if you need to GTFO B. But it's a free country, asterisk. All right, we're now going to do a run check through the models. This is the GFS, or better known as the Get Funky and Sexy. This is the 18Z version, September 22nd. As you can see, Maria is like, I'm going to come up and steal North Carolina's nose. And then I'm be like, I got your nose. And then I'm just going to drift off. Yep, Maria's like, boop, boop, boop you on the nose, North Carolina. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, man. Like, if I was in North Carolina, Virginia, and all those East Coast states, I'd be like, hey, I'm going to be watching this, considering this is scheduled to happen on the 27th, which is five days out. And usually they say the models are only solid three days out. So, there are a lot of factors involved here. So be sure to factor them into your plans and preparations. Yeah, GFS is knocking noogies with Hurricane Maria. Holy crap. Yep, that's about a Cat 3, Cat 4, 920, 918. Whoa, that would be a major hurricane, man. The good news is, Jose cooled down the waters for you. Bad news is, there's a heat wave coming. All right, man, the, all the GFSs aren't even in yet. People keep talking about a tropical system coming out of the Gulf at the beginning of October. Look back into that, shall we? Now we're looking at the European, and here we go. What? That's Jose getting jiggy with it. And the European's always been a bit funny on this one. Because the European's like, I'm coming close to the coast, but then that giant trough is going to pump me like a football through the uprights. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. That's what the European says. All right. So one says yes, it hits. One says no, it does not. And you may not count what Maria does to North Carolina as a strike. I'm going to go ahead and count as a strike in my book. We have different books. That's okay. We're not all meant to be the same. Oh, so yeah, the gem, the J-E-M, better known as Get Excited Man. As Maria coming close to the East Coast, she scrapes and rakes North Carolina, and she takes a westerly turn in, and she takes a double dip in towards Virginia, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey. Westwardly dip one, westwardly dip two, double dip in, westwardly dip three. I don't know, that looks like damage to me. I mean, I don't know why everybody said, oh yeah, no, it's, a, it's going out to sea. Right now, two of the three models are like, you know what, the eye is going to come give butterfly kisses to the East Coast. That has it almost making landfall on New York. So take away from this what you want to. Now going to the Nav Jam, also known as Nice Assholes Verify Good, Exciting, Centric Marmalade. I made that up. Comedic purposes. Hey man, if everybody's saying it's going out to sea and I'm showing you models of it either hitting the East Coast or scraping the East Coast, I would think I would be totally allowed to be in a decent mood and tell a joke or two. If you don't like that, luckily, YouTube has something in that'll give you a little satisfaction. It's a down thumbs button. You can go press and feel real good. All right. So the nav jams got coming in a little bit slower. And on this one, Maria seems confused. Now, she looks like she wants to go kiss the nose in North Carolina. She's like, nope, I'm just going out to see. Nothing to see here, she says. And then she's going. So I don't know, half have it really doing damage to the East Coast. And half take it out to sea. So it's really up to you, you know. And if you have a lot of confidence in that in North Carolina, in Georgia, by all means, even Virginia. We're looking at the CMC Music Factory. I mean, technically it's not a landfall because the eye wall is not crossing into North Carolina, but... Knowing that these models can shift west or east, you know, take that with a giant, massive grain of salt. I think I was got a booty. Yeah, this is the gem. Once again, it almost kisses the nose of North Carolina. And then Maria just takes a tour up the east coast. But I would say, yeah, crazy. All right, now let's take a look at something on a more global scale, shall we? All right, we'll start with the GFS. We'll go top down. But I've noticed on this thing, it's got like a mega massive storm going into the United Kingdom, Ireland, Norway. Iceland. Like, look at the size of Maria, and whatever's going on up there in our new North Pole is wild. Notice on this, the yeah, IFSOR on mean sea level pressure point it actually uses like a jet stream rope to snag Maria and pull her out to sea. All right, so there's Maria, right? And here's our giant mega superstorm. Looks like a superstorm to me. 
I mean, it's like eight times the size of Maria. Because that's what we're looking at here. Look at that thing. Whoop, UK, Ireland getting nailed. Whoop, whoop, wave after wave after wave. All right, now look at it on the European. Maybe the European would be better about European weather. Yeah, but it's been showing up for like a week. I mean, look at that thing. Boom. Now that's the size of Maria. Here's our mega massive superstorm. How's the atmosphere? Oh, you know, it's it's unstable. So that is today. You better put your fish and chips in Tupperware. I want it to get wet and windy. Wave after wave. See, notice how it pulls this thing? What if the atmosphere is sentient? It just yanks it. Gives it a good old tug. It says, get out of here. Now we're looking at the jam. Or I am. I don't know what you're looking at. You could just be listening. That's legal. On this one, the second wave does not hit the UK. Then after that, it gets nasty. So you just wave after wave after wave, man. How could you just... So the jam shows it as a bit of a superstorm as well. It looks like a super hurricane. Or mega cyclone. It's on the 27th. Notice that would be the same day that you have big problems with Maria over here on this one as well. Boom. Okay, we're not going to the nav gem. There seems to be a bit of atmospheric flow flowing on in. So whereas the models seem to be a bit conflicted on where it's going to put Maria. <clears throat> Same deal. She gets tugged off. Yeah, so the 27th is going to be an interesting day. Everybody's talking about the 23rd, but I'm like, hey man, if you checked out the 27th, she gets tugged off again. And then we'll go to the JMA. And this one's like, 27th is not going to be that big a deal. But that's, that's that. All right, there we go. Looked at all the models. What will Maria do? Where will Maria go? And it looks like there's definitely a superstorm coming to parts of Europe. So get ready. Because this ain't funny. Flooding's been everywhere. So the dirt's getting runny. It's Friday. And it's literally been a month since this hurricane super madness started. So if you'd like to appreciate my efforts and donate, I'll leave a PayPal link at the very top. And I want to thank everybody who has donated and supported Thor News. We will get back on the t-shirt horse very soon. And Sunday, I plan to spend hours writing thank you emails to every single person. Granted, if it looks like Maria's going to hit the East Coast, I may get pushed back another four or five days. So yeah, once again, the message is always plan, prepare, because we don't know what's going to happen. And if I was on the East Coast, I'd definitely be watching this thing. Also, stay cool, keep a sense of humor, and let's try it. Come together as one American family. Does that sound good? Wouldn't it be cool if everyone was cool? That'd be great. We could start to build cool stuff again. Infrastructure would last to the year 3000. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Talk to y'all soon. How is the situation? Oh, it's uncertain, as it always has been. This is brought to us by Tropical Tidbits, who runs the excellent site that has all the amazing models. TropicalTidbits.com. How they recommend them. And Mike's weather page, SpaghettiModels.com. Those two sites have been my go-to, are my go-to, and I can't thank them enough. They have done a fantastic job. And this site, Mike's weather page, pretty much has everything you need to know set up in a fresh and easy kind of way. So, and then thanks again to all the meteorologists on Twitter, AccuWeather, and the Weather Channel. They'll do a fantastic job with the hand you've been dealt, and I appreciate that, for sure. Cranky Weather Guy, my number one go-to weatherman, says, I would suggest it's best to let it, in guidance, run the clock. Perhaps entertain guidance with more confidence tomorrow as it dials in more. I've had my theory of the western envelope. I'm not inclined to move it much based on model runs, even if they support those observations. Still in range to consider some outliers. But I think jet associated with Western U.S. storm starts to come over the top in time to keep Maria south. Here we're looking at multiple GFS runs. The last few runs of the GFS have trended have trended close enough to the U.S. with Maria in five days to induce impacts. Uncertain, as it's always been. Nobody knows, man. So that's why we'll keep paying attention. We got snow, y'all. Winter's coming. And Jose's been beating up that coast. Coastal erosion, more damage to come. Maybe I'm just like my father. So here we go again. If it's happening in a galaxy, then toys all over here. Hurricane, solar flares, planet X. Now humanity's gonna destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. No, I don't know if you know this. Wave after wave.